All right, for those of you that just popped over from the other video where I highlighted a little bit of feedback on this guy, the uh, Lucky Dave's step-up seat. He may be wondering what I'm going to put on, and that's the guy right next to it. So that's the uh, Saddleman Slim, or LS Slim. LS is the, uh, the stitch work. Um, I was hoping for a little bit wider seat. Overall, the seating surface is not really wider. The lower part of it is, it isn't, I should say. Uh, the back of it is, definitely. Uh, so you can see that there. Back of it's wider, but also just a tad lower. One of the other differences is this little tuck that it has here. Uh, supposedly this allows the lower seating surface to move separate from the top. And that may have something to do with the burning sensation I was complaining of over here. Uh, just with the way the seat moves as a continuous piece, I don't know. I don't know if that had anything to do with like skin shearing against it. Uh, the first thing I did notice when I took it out of the package was the LS is much softer. Uh, so it's got a, uh, a softer foam top to it. And this um, perforated section must collect water because it comes with a rain cover. So that may be a concern for folks. I don't necessarily think I would ever carry a rain cover. Uh, I would just sit on it wet and not worry about it too much. Um, give you a walk around and show the difference between those two a little bit. So you can see for seating surface for the rear passenger, um, it's a little bit wider. It may make your passenger a little happier if you're comparing the two. The aesthetics of the two are, you know, pleasing in both. It's not uh, not overly big. And one of the things I was trying to avoid was going to the road sofa because I don't ever ride two up. I would like a little bit more uh, of a touring seat, but I don't ride two up. So going to the road sofa adds that rear section that I don't need. Uh, my wife's got her own bike and uh, there's just not any need for that rear section. And yeah, there's a quick shot of it installed on the bike. It's actually much smaller than I figured it would be. And it does set you up a little bit higher than the previous one that was on it. It is nice that it's a little bit softer. It does have about an inch less uh, back support. And it might move me forward just a tad compared to the other seat. This is probably very close to a stock seating position, whereas the other one maybe had me back a smidge and down. The Saddleman LS Slim. Sharp looking seat. Be a little while before I get any decent rides on it to uh, tell how it's really going to do. But you can uh, compare in the video, prior video, how much it's probably twice as soft as the other one that I just took off. That's all I got for now.